Welcome to video number 6 in my beginner series for Unreal Engine 4. Today we're going to talk about variables, what they are, getting them, setting them, different little things. So let's go into our player character. A variable is a data container. It contains data, as the name would suggest. So here we see variable plus variable, and we're going to make a new variable. And by default, it creates you a boolean. Booleans are true and false. So in order to change something about a variable, you need to compile it. So false, true. And booleans, let's get the boolean, more often than not would go into a branch. And for this reason, it's better to pose a boolean as a question. So is shooting, for example. This will ask if your character is shooting, and if he is shooting, it'll do true, and if he isn't shooting, it'll do false. So let's set is shooting. With this, we can now set at runtime a variable, so we can change it to true, as by default it is false so if for example we had a shooting input that was on the right mouse button if we press shooting and he he isn't shooting or she isn't, isn't shooting then we are going to set shooting to true and we're going to do something or if they are shooting it'll do something else like maybe it'll destroy the actor um, that is hit, we need to figure out what what actor has, has been hit, but we'll not worry about that right now. So let's change this to variable. Byte is an 8-bit number which will run from 0 to 255, we'll try and put 256, won't work. integer is a whole number you can go into minuses with integers uh, and I think top number is 2 billion something and then you can go into as I said negatives and then go to negative the same integer 64 bit is a 64-bit integer which will allow you to go even higher or lower based on 64-bit systems um, depending on what you're using your number for you could use an integer 64 or an integer we're gonna skip the property reference for now float is a decimal number so for example 0 0.5, 1.1, 1.2 things like that. Name, string and text are all to do with text and um, alphabetical entries so this would be name of something, whatever you want to call that. A string is a different type of text, it's a as the name suggests it's a text string or we have a localizable text string. More, more often than not, you will just use text. So for our variable, let's call this begin game. That's what we're setting our text as, begin game. So when we begin play, we are going to print a string now, as you can see, this colour and this colour isn't the same, so normally this wouldn't be able to plug in, but with, as I said, names and texts and things like that, it will also convert it for you. So now if we compile and save, and we hit play, there is our begin game text showing on screen.
vectors are obviously a 3D vector, gives you X, Y, and Z location. So there we go. Um, there's something you would use for the location of something, a rotator. There's also an X, Y, and Z. But this is based on rotation and then transform has the location so the vector the rotator and also a scale so those three are the, those that you will use when it comes to 3d objects in your world there are a lot more variables in there structure variables interface variables object types and enumeration let us find so we can go through there and do that let's find a reference to my player character we can have an object reference a class reference and a soft object and soft class reference this is just to make you aware so if we choose a class reference this will come in handy when you have parent and child classes which we'll go over in the next video um, so you can create another blueprint which has all the functionality of your character but you can customize it to whatever you need as I said in the next video we'll go over that and this variable will become much more apparent as to why we're using it so that's variables in a nutshell um, please comment if you have any questions on variables we're going to be using them in other videos as these are the main way you will use data inside of your blueprints so variables will come up quite often so anything you need to know yeah please comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video